In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the Windows Sandbox feature in Windows 10. So the very first thing we need to do is make sure we're on the correct version of Windows 10. And we can do this by updating it. And you can do that by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Click on all settings and then go to update and security and check for updates. And this is going to update your Windows 10 to the latest version. Our sandbox is only available on the May 2019 update. Now I just want to say that the Windows Sandbox feature is only available on Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise and it's not available on Windows 10 Home at the moment so they may change that in the future. Now you can check your version of Windows 10 by right clicking on the Windows icon in the bottom left. Go ahead and click on System and then once the box loads up you want to scroll down to Windows Specifications and here it will tell you your Windows Edition. So now we're on the correct version of Windows 10 we need to enable the Sandbox feature. And to do this, what we need to do is go ahead and click on the Windows icon in the bottom left. And you just want to type in Features. And you want to select the top one where it says Turn Windows Features On or Off. Now it's going to bring up this little box here. And it's going to give you a list of features that you can enable or disable in Windows. Uh, so you can go through this list if you want to. But what we want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here you want to make sure that Windows Sandbox has been ticked. And then you want to go ahead and click on OK and restart your computer. Okay, so once your computer has fully restarted, that's going to enable the Sandbox feature. And what we can do now is go ahead and click on the Windows icon, and you can type in Sandbox, and it should pop up as the Windows app, so you want to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to ask for permission from the admin, so you're going to go ahead and click OK, and just wait for it to open up. Okay, so depending on the age and the performance of your PC, Sandbox may take a while to load up, but it will do it eventually. And once it's loaded up, it's going to look like a computer inside your computer, and this is also known as a virtual machine. So basically, you're running Windows 10 inside of Windows 10, and what you can do inside here is basically test apps um, and check programs, etc. And it's not going to harm your actual computer, just in case there are any viruses or whatnot. Because when you go ahead and close this sandbox, it's basically going to delete everything that you've done inside of it anyway. And that's all you need to do to enable the Windows Sandbox on Windows 10. So if this video is helpful, please do a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.